Morning, this is Keith Van Wimmer with Van Tech Consulting. Uh, we just received our HP3 um, cleaning kit from JDSU. Uh, pretty cool little uh, little setup here. So what we have is, uh, you know, just to give you an outline, we have our visual fault locator. We have our um, fiber scope with one scope here that's built into the unit for um, doing patch pan or patch cables. We have a power meter built in here, so just a little uh, um, simple power meter. And then we have um, a handheld scope that we can use for doing bulkheads. Over here we have an area where we can keep some additional tips, so if we're going uh, to an LC bulkhead. Um, we also have an adapter here for the other scope. So this is our uh, LC adapter, so 1.25 versus a 2.5. Everything's in a nice little package here. Um, you can get a rechargeable battery pack for this. Uh, I just use uh, rechargeable batteries in it. They seem to last for quite a while. Um, little area here to hold your, your one-click cleaning implement. Um, pretty cool little thing. So when I got this, being the, uh, the way that I am, I wanted to make sure that everything was up to date. So I did get this uh, on an open box special. And... Um, we wanted to make sure that everything was all up to date. So I started playing around reading the manual and I really didn't find much information on how to update the firmware, how to connect this up, um, you know, get results off of it, etc. Now one of the things this does not do is it does not store results directly on the machine. So in poking around, I'm going to take this thing all apart here, in poking around on this and looking and seeing what, uh, what kind of... Uh, connectors we have and capabilities, you know, because that's the kind of person I am, um, what I found or what I saw was on the bottom of this unit, take it out of the boot here, and there we go, get that out of the way. What I saw on here was I saw this, uh, you know, the power connector, and then there's a little door. I don't know if we can, uh, I'll see if we can get this. There's a little door right here on this. And, you know, being the curious person I am, I said, huh, I wonder what that door is. So I took out my little screwdriver and popped it out. And look at that. There's a micro USB port there. So again, being the wonderful uh, inquisitive type of mind that I have, I said, wow, I wonder what that's for. And... Uh, I decided to go ahead and I was thinking about this and you know since JDSU does all these kind of really cool things I figured that I would take a chance and go ahead and plug this in to the computer and see what happened so um, one of the things that I did know on my P5000i my uh, digital scope was that I use fiber check to do the um, fiber check pro to do the update on the firmware. And I said, well, I wonder if this does the same thing. So when you plug this in, what will happen is on your FiberCheck Pro, we get a tab up here that shows optical power meter. And I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. And you notice that we have all these wavelengths that we can use. We have a button over here that says store so now what that's telling me is that uh, as I take a reading, I can actually store the, uh, the value that I'm getting. You know, it, it just seemed like uh, too good to be true. So now I went in and I said, well, you know, if this works the same way as a scope over under setup, I should have some kind of, uh, of menu choices here. So there's a general, we can actually add, um, different wavelengths. We can delete the wavelengths that we're not using. So if you're not doing PON and uh, um, you know you only use the uh, 850, we don't use a 980, we don't need that. So if you're just using your four wavelengths for multi-mode, uh, 850 and 1300 and 1310, 1550 single mode, there you go. If you want to add the 1490, you know, you can just pop that right in there. Thresholds, we can set our thresholds here. Then we had the firmware. So um, 
once you load the drivers for this, it's kind of um, an interesting process. So I'm using Windows 8.1 and I couldn't get it to you have to go through um, some some gyrations in, in Windows 8 to go ahead and get the uh, the drivers to load you have to actually disable the driver verification and all this fun stuff I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, and post a link to a, um, a document that explains it all even though I did all that it didn't work for me um, I couldn't get the firmware to update through Windows 8 so what I did was the same process but on a Windows 7 machine um, loaded the the fiber check pro um, did all the drivers plug this in and bada bing bada boom it updated the firmware perfectly now we're on the latest greatest firmware um, you know, everything's great so one of the things that happens on Windows 8 is if you um, do this it will actually kind of freeze up um, you know, not a big deal. We just got to go ahead and close out the uh, the FiberCheck Pro, relaunch it. But anyway, um, basically that's the uh, the process. You plug in your USB on a Windows 7 machine, much easier. Go to your uh, setup, pop over here, hit your HP3, go to your firmware, click on the update firmware. The machine's gonna uh, power down, power back up, updates the firmware, and you're done. So. Real quick uh, video here. Hope that was helpful. We'll do some more um, exciting stuff on this where we'll actually do some measurements and save those results and see how we, uh, how we get those out of uh, FiberCheck Pro. So I hope this was helpful. If you have this unit, um, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's going to be my go-to um, inspection unit. So when I go out and, uh, and working on a panel or something, this is what I'm going to going to walk in with is this little guy here so anyway a um, little bit uh, quicker than doing uh, you know bringing in the OTDR and, and scope so kind of handy anyway hope this was helpful uh, please subscribe if you have any questions as always feel free to contact us at info at vantechconsulting.net or give us a call always glad to help don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope you have a wonderful and safe day take care